Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the Future Soldier Preparatory Course from the United States Army. Please remember to like and subscribe. Now let's get right into it. Fact 1. Preparation for Basic Training The Future Soldier Preparatory Course is actually a preparatory course for basic training into the U.S. Army. It is very interesting because people think that the basic training is the first step of joining the army and if you can't handle it or you're unable to successfully complete all the metrics in the basic training then you cannot join. And this is why this program was created. The US Army is seeing that more and more people who want to join the military but is unable to score high enough on the military exams or unable to pass the fitness tests and then are forced to not join. By creating this preparatory course, the future soldiers can first learn in a classroom and a more friendly setting, more like go at your own pace if you will, learning the basics and the most fundamental parts of being a soldier and so that it will help them pass their basic training that eventually awaits them if they choose to continue. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 2. Under contract. Now, as I mentioned in the previous section, the preparatory course is a prelude to the basic training. And you might be thinking, well, can someone join the preparatory course and then not actually go to basic training because they decided the military is not for them? Actually, you can't do that because in order to get into the Future Soldier Preparatory course, you need to have already signed an enlistment contract. The enlistment contract is exactly what you will find for everybody who doesn't take the preparatory course and go straight into basic training. However, it is not like you could sign up for the course, try it out, and decide you don't like it and leave. In fact, the contract you sign is simply a delayed enlistment contract, meaning that you will eventually enlist in the US military. It is just that you're delaying it in order to take this preparatory course to help you pass basic training. There is a loophole, however. If you don't pass the future soldier preparatory course within 90 days, the army doesn't believe you can pass basic training ever and will let you go and you don't need to enlist into the military per your contract. It's a way out for both parties. All right, let's get into the next fact. Fact three, academic and fitness. There are two tracks to the preparatory course. The academic portion that focuses on improving recruits, armed forces, vocational aptitude battery tests, the ASVAB. A lot of people struggle with this test and don't score high enough to either join the military or get the job that they want. The other track is the fitness track. Some people when they're joining are overweight, obese, or have not exercised in a long time and could not pass the physical exams or physical standards that basic training requires you to. And as a result, these two tracks are exactly geared toward these people who want to be soldiers but are lacking in either the aptitude testing section or the fitness testing section. For people who score extremely low in the aptitude test, they actually cannot even participate in the physical track. This is because the army wants them to really focus on attaining a better test score and do not have time to let them take physical training and fitness training. And so I think it's pretty interesting that they correlate people who score very low on a test to people who don't need any physical exercise. All right, let's get into the next fact. Fact four, enlisted soldiers. As part of the future soldier preparatory course, you are a fully legitimate enlisted soldier in the US Army. Again, as I mentioned in previous sections, you have to have signed a contract 
stating your intention to enlist in the U.S. Army. When you sign this contract and then you enroll in the preparatory course, you are obligated to join the U.S. military after the completion of the preparatory course and a successful completion of basic training. Most people who do the preparatory course have no trouble succeeding in the basic training, and in fact, become student leaders during basic training, mentoring their peers in the same cohort. Obviously, this is because they already got a leg up in terms of what to expect. They already went through the processes of becoming a soldier, but in a more friendly setting where the drill sergeant don't yell at them. They talk to them like mentors and mentees, and guide them with smiles on their face and a pace that is easier to handle for the newer generation of people. Right, let's get to the next and final fact: similar programs. Now you may think that this program is fairly innovative and new, but actually, the United States military has done this before. They have a long track record of. Responding to society trends to posture new soldiers for success. For example, there is the BSEP program since 1977 to help soldiers improve their AFQT scores, or foreign language recruitment initiative programs, where they can train with foreign languages. There is also another program, ARMS, that was used to identify enlistees who. May have exceeded the body fat composition standards and need help meeting the height and weight standards of the U.S. Army. All right, that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.